Hi, I'm glad to um, at least be able to talk with all of you on the camera tonight. I'm sorry I couldn't be there personally, but it was a great pleasure for me to um, judge this show. Uh, first of all, I have some overall comments about the show. I was struck by the variety. I mean, there's acrylic, oil, well, first of all, there's a lot of 2D and some nice 3D. And I was struck by the variety of acrylic, oil, watercolor, color pencil, ink, then there was a hook rug, pyrography, which I didn't know was burnt um, what it was at first, and photography, both straight and digitally enhanced black and white in color. That's a lot of different variety. And then in 3D, there was glass, natural objects, paper mache, paper clay, and also mixed. So there was an overall love of nature, a sense of peace, and humor that was throughout the show. And um, how did I judge it? Well, I went all around the room five times, the final time taking notes and deciding which pieces I would choose, which was not easy. Um, there is clearly a lot of skill displayed in the pieces, and I was, um, I think as I judged, I was swayed not just by skill, but also by what pieces delighted me, surprised me, and also humor. Um, so anyways, here we go. Um, I awarded five honorable mentions, and this first one is called Antiquities Gate, and I picked it because um, it has a really good focus and has a nice feeling of distance. I want to walk through that gate and see what's on the other side of it, and it has a wonderful sort of dreamy, magical mood to it. The second honorable mention I picked is called Crab Apples. And I was struck by the way both the wood and the metal cups are beautifully rendered, just with such a limited palette, but you can, I can feel the metal and I can feel that old wood. I, I loved that. This was the Autumn Fog was uh, the third honorable mention that I picked. And I thought it was interesting that it was done on metallic paper. I've never, um, I couldn't really see the metallic, but I'm sure it added to the, it has a very muted, moody feeling. And I love the, um, I love the, I love that effect. This other um, honorable mention, Rain Power, I just, thought that's an amazing moment to capture in film. That's it. It's beautifully done. I picked this one for an honorable mention because I'm not quite sure whether it's smoke or flame, which was interesting to me. It has, it feels like a, an, an interesting moment that was captured and became very poetic. To the horizon, this painting here, I awarded the third place prize. It's got a lot of texture and it's a study in greens. It's very hard to get a variety of different greens and that's beautifully done. And the hills, you really feel the role of the landscape and the distance, and I also feel that the frame actually enhances uh, this work of art. Really, I, I really like the frame with this. This one, the Gathering Family, goes to the seashore I awarded second place, and it is, first of all, it just makes me smile every time I come around and see it again. It's joyful, fun, humorous. It's well integrated. It just all holds together, including the little angel at the top. Um, it's well executed with just tissue paper and paper mache. And it's really personal and unique. Um, I've never seen anything quite like that. It's, it's childlike, but... Um, 
Beautifully executed. The little capon wood nymph I awarded first in show. Um, I loved that the natural materials were well integrated with the man-made materials. I had to look twice at the leaves because they were so natural looking and was surprised they were glass. And I loved the way the wood nymph was nestled so perfectly under the leaves and into the notch of the tree. It, it holds together as one piece beautifully.